What's up guys, King's Reaper here. In this episode we will continue our adventure. So our first goal is basically to get level 10 because then we're gonna unlock the Flea Market and we're gonna be able to sell more stuff there or buy a better gear. So the last episode we ended up doing some quests and in this episode we'll just continue straight forward with some prep work quests and try pretty much to get some other quests done from um, therapist and the reason why is why I'm gonna try to do that is because she's gonna be able to sell us on level 2 loyalty scav junk box which is very important so initially I spawned on the east side of the map and decided to push backwards so as I was pushing backwards in the back corner of the map, I noticed the movement. The first thing that came through my head is that must be a player doing the quest because there's a secure folder or some kind of item that you need to pick up in that train cart. So I knew, or at least I wanted it to be a player, so I waited up for him to get out. Now, of course, the grass helped a lot. And he started shooting back. Finally. So after managing to shoot that player or a scav, I decided to rush quickly there to pick up the loot that he had and I was very sad to realize it was only a scav after this point I decided to move further back in I wanted to use the shortcut but when I got there yeah things got a bit spicy I noticed a player in the door I was waiting for him to come out. He would come out eventually. And of course, the sniper scav in the tower started shooting at me and revealed my position a bit too early. So I decided to go back and then I remembered back on the old gas station there's another gas or fuel tank that we need to mark. Thank god that player didn't kill me. So I went back there just to mark it. And just as I was coming back, because I wanted to move forwards, there he was. And that was my biggest mistake. The first thing I did good. He saw me on one angle, I went from the other side, he didn't expect me to peek from the other side of the cart and I had some shots on him, but then I made a stupid decision to re-peek the same angle and he was already ready, pre-aimed for my head and that's how our raid ended. So the next raid I spawned right where I needed. I needed to mark this truck as well and this was the last one in our quest line. So I quickly went there, marked it, and went inside the garages to check for some loot. And as I was going through the garages, some action found me. Fortunately, it was only a scav, so it was an easy one shot. After killing that scav, I looted up quickly a medical bag and duffel bag in the garage next to it, got some food, ate it up, and went on to reload my gun and then search the scav's body to see if he had any valuable loot. Unfortunately, he did not. 
and his buddy came to join the fight. So after looting him completely and his buddy, I went across the street into these shacks. And of course, there was a player. He was running obviously for the extract. So I decided to wait him out. Because this was a good angle. I knew there was a fence between me and him and he had to peek from this side. Or he would have to go back from where he came from. Which would also give me probably a chance to see him. So I waited. I was patient. I had time. Oh, I had nothing but time. And eventually... He peeks. I go for the quick flank. But he went for it as well. And judging by the sound of it, he went up. So as I heard him starting to met up, he was probably bleeding, I decided to change the position. So I took another angle, which originally seemed good to me, I thought this was a good angle, I was quite protected, he couldn't give me an easy one tap, and then realized that it wasn't such a good angle. I was too exposed on my left and on my right, so I decided to change angle once again. So I pushed a bit back, reloaded the gun and waited. Thank God for that other player that drove him out. Now I had another player to worry about because I didn't know if he was still alive or no. So I decided to wait a couple of more seconds and then push. And my luck was good. The other player was also dead. So it was two dead bodies to loot for me. Unfortunately, they didn't have too much of a valuable items. But still. Some gear is better than no gear. So after looting both of them... And thinking how I was in the clear, how everything was good, everything was fine. I started to push again towards the garages. Because I wanted to use the other side of the map to move towards my extract. And all of a sudden... Another scav friend appeared. He got my arm, but I wasn't critically injured. So after this, I decided to push, check some stashes, found nothing of interest, and extracted successfully. Now this only meant that our quest for Mr. Prapor was also done. So I went to turn in the quest, and to pick another one. Now for this quest, we needed a special key, which unfortunately I did not have. So. I had to move into another raid, again on customs, in search of that key. I actually needed two keys. We spawned again in the far corner and I decided to go again into the garage area to check for some loot, check the jackets. And there he was. Thank god for his helmet and thank god that I survived that. Easy no scope. So after that quick fight, I wasn't sure if he was dead or no. I thought he is, so I went back to check. And luckily he was dead. I did manage to one shot him. So I just quickly picked up all of his gear. Everything that I wanted to. And moved, moved along. So after checking some stashes, I came to the shoreline only to hear some gunshots across the river. There he was. Public enemy number one. PMC. So gave him some time.
Now that's how you supposed to shoot. From now on, that's how you shoot! After successfully killing the PMC, I moved quickly across to check his loot, to check what he had. Little did I expect that he would be loaded with an SVD, with good contacts and a full backpack. But even less did I expect... <laughs> exactly the key that we need for our quest. So this was the key that we needed for Therapist's quest, which would lead us into room 206, which is filled with water barrels. So that was a good kill. Now I was able to do another quest for Therapist. So after checking some stashes, I decided to move out and managed to extract successfully. So quick sorting of my inventory again, because as you can see it was quite loaded and it was kind of hard to cram all the stuff inside. It was time for yet another customs raid. Yeah, you might be already bored with them, but there's nothing else I can do right now because most of the starter quests are made on customs. So after spawning I moved towards the dorms area and waited there a little bit. And I magically died. Not sure how. So he didn't even peek me or anything and I was dead. Perhaps by another player. It was a short and a sad raid, but my god, we had to move on. So after picking up another gear set, I wanted to go again into customs, again into dorms, trying to solve the quest. So I spawned on the east side of the map, checked some of the stashes, and upon reaching the second stash on my path, Oh, buddy, that was a lot of money. So I quickly took out my healing kit and put the cyclone into my secure container. So I moved into dorms, luckily nobody was there, no scavs, no players. So I went straight ahead for the room and I was done with the quest. So it was time to move off. I moved bit backwards to the hill because I heard some gunshots towards the gas station. And I saw a player. Interesting death, don't you think? So obviously a ground is now loaded with guns and bullets and shoots back. That's just great. Uh, anyway. I took another gear set and went in another raid on customs. So after spawning I simply went on this map in search of a good loot, I checked a lot of stashes, nothing interesting happened, no PvP fights, but I just wanted to show you what kind of a loot can you expect only from stashes. So as you can see my inventory was full and there were some quite worthy items inside. So next raid I spawned again in the dead corner of the map. And just as I spawned, I didn't expect it, but so did Scavs. I quickly checked the duffel bag, went inside, and then waited the Scav to come out again. I quickly looted the Scav's body. But unfortunately nothing of high value was in his pockets. So I checked some more of the stashes and went across using the first land bridge. And there was yet another scav just waiting to get head tapped. Luckily for me he had a bigger backpack and a good key. So after quickly organizing inventory, it was time to move forwards 
in the raid. I went to check a couple of more stashes and unfortunately didn't find any players. So I simply extracted, geared up for yet another raid and went in. So at this point I also managed to solve the quest so I turned it in with Therapist and the new raid that we started was quite interesting from the start. The player ran in. I probably tagged him, but I couldn't tell for sure. So I waited to see if he's gonna re peek, but he knew better than that. He didn't want to come out. So I simply reloaded my gun and decided it's best option to flank. So after initial spawn, I flanked around the train and went to the front of the building into a bush where I knew he might come out. But what I didn't expect was that I would find another player. Or two. So I had to align my shot perfectly. There was two of them, one of them needed to be dead instantly. And I managed to kill the first one. That was a good start. Now I had one more player to deal with, so I decided the best bet would be to run through the building. Hopefully the other player isn't here. He wasn't. And so I ran. I decided it was a time for another flank. Because when you're a solo player, your best friend is flanking, changing the position. Because his friend has no clue that I went away from the last position where I shot him from. So I was flanking and there was a lot of bushes in front of me. So I had to start moving slowly as slow as possible. I still didn't reduce my speed completely because I was quite far from the entrance or from his last known position. And from this point on it was time to move completely as slow as possible. I was hoping I would catch that guard, that guy off guard that he would still be behind that truck but I couldn't know for sure the time was also key if I waited too long he would have changed his position last bush couldn't see him. And there he was. He was still here. And I managed to kill the other player as well. So now it was just time to loot all the goodies. And this guy was quite geared. He had a nicely decked out Aider. And which the what I didn't know immediately is that that guy was loaded with M995. Which is the best possible ammo you can get for that type of gun. So after looting him, I wanted to check what his body had as well. And he had some good items as well. So I picked up everything I could and decided I needed to extract quickly. So I used the shortcut 
went to the shore and of course to my disappointment once again the smuggler's boat exit was not available which only meant I had to go to the long side I used the middle bridge to get across and just as I came across something smelled fishy something was suspicious there were some sounds coming from behind me I wasn't sure if I was imagining it was it me or somebody else and unfortunately I wasn't imagining it there was another player there so guys our last raid ended miserably even though we had all the good stuff all the good loot but we did play it well I did perfect flank I cat I caught that player off guard and it was just sad that I couldn't get out with that but anyways guys this will end it up for this episode I hope you liked it and enjoyed it please like share subscribe and hit that notification buttons if you can I'll see you in the next one